So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0157 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0157 code? Well, it's a front secondary heated oxygen sensor, secondary HO2S Bank 2 Sensor 2. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer has sensors on the exhaust that monitor things such as how much oxygen has been burnt off in combustion. And they also have heat sensors that monitor the catalytic converter. And it's seen an issue with one of these, so it's sending out this error code. And some of the possible causes could be a bad O2 sensor, it could be inside the wiring, and it's possible that there's like a bad fuel injector or something like this or an exhaust leak causing an issue, but usually when you get those, you'll get another code. So if you are getting another code, then you might want to follow and see what those are, but otherwise it'd be pointing to a bad oxygen sensor. And so there's going to be two oxygen sensors on each bank of the exhaust. So for this code, it looks like there's going to be a total of four. And on many Hondas, they just have two for a total, but on this, with this code, it's pointing to that there's four O2 sensors in total. And when an oxygen sensor is before the catalytic converter, it's called the upstream or sensor one. And when it's after the catalytic converter, it's called the downstream or sensor two. And so with this code, it's pointing to that the vehicle has four oxygen sensors in total. And bank two is always the opposite side of the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one spark plug, it'd be the opposite side of that, which on Hondas is usually the front of the engine would be bank two. And as you can see in this image, bank two sensor two will be the second one in the front of the engine going down. So there'll be a total of four, and you have to find the bank two sensor two, O2 sensor, because that's the one that the onboard computer seen an issue with. And so the first thing to do is go locate that sensor. And so once you locate the sensor, uh, check out the wiring real good. Be sure the wiring looks good. There's no open shorts or anything like this because any bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And also be aware that this is usually on a fuse and sometimes a, a relay, which is usually inside the engine compartment. So you want to check that. Be sure there's no blowing fuses or anything like that. Quite commonly, they're labeled like AF heater or something like that. Again, it could vary on the year of the Honda, but just be aware that this circuit is on a fuse and it's usually inside the engine compartment. Although sometimes it could be underneath the dashboard, it's usually located inside the engine compartment. If the wiring all looks good and there's no blowing fuses, then very likely you will have to change out the oxygen sensor. And these can be tested, but most people will go and just swap them out. Uh, I'll jump over on Amazon, give you how much an idea, how much they're costing right now. Looks like they're ranging around $50 to $100 for two of them. Again, it's going to depend on the year. Most people will automatically go with the Denso O2 sensor. Since other ones, sometimes Sometimes cause issues and so most everybody goes with these Denso ones but however you want to do it it looks like they're ranging around 50 to 100 dollars and so the next thing to do would be to go ahead and either test or replace that sensor and so what do you do if you have a Honda P0157 code well first thing to do locate that secondary oxygen sensor on bank 2 which will usually be in the front of the engine down below it but you might have to look it up since it can be some variations on the different years once you locate it check out the wiring real good be sure the wiring all looks good that there's no open open shorts or bad connections going on and keep in mind that this is on a fuse so if a fuse blows it can cause the same problems and sometimes a relay so if the relay goes bad it can also cause some issues if that all looks good then either test or replace that oxygen sensor because very likely that's the issue at that point point. and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a honda with the p0157 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day